Welcome to an Ashley a day. Hooray! Hey everybody, welcome to day 62 of an Ashley a day. And as I've probably mentioned every Sunday since I've started making this, I like the show Walking Dead. And because it's on Sunday nights, I'm always in a Walking Dead mood. For those of you who don't know, Walking Dead is a zombie show. I really like it. Uh, for some reason, I like zombies. I was never really into the vampire thing or like anything like that, but I like the zombies. I always tend to think if the world is going to end, it'll probably end in a zombie apocalypse. Probably not true. That's what I think. As I'm going day to day and if I like watch Walking Dead or if zombies get brought up in something, like I read a book about zombies, for that day or like so much time afterwards, I tend to think as if a zombie apocalypse is going to happen. Like what would I do if all of a sudden people around campus were zombies. I heard them running around and everybody screaming and I could see zombies. Like, what would I do if I was in my room? Probably lock the door, first of all. And then, escape plan. Because you gotta know what you're gonna do. Now I've got not too much in my room for a weapon, so I, I don't know what I would do in that respect. Mostly, all of my thoughts have been about escape. And I probably wouldn't go through the hallways because that's where everybody would be. If anything, I'm on the second floor, so I'd try to go through the window because... Well, I'm only like a story up, so I could either try to climb up to the roof, which would be pretty dang hard, but I could attempt to do that, or, you know, climb down and find somewhere else safe to go. I've always thought about what I would do in terms of family. Being at school, in ter if a zombie apocalypse were to happen, there's no way I'd be able to reunite with my family. It it it'd be impossible, like, as sad as it is to say. I live three hours away from home. I'm not going to be able to make that by myself. Maybe if I get together with my two other friends that are from the same area, we could make it back. And I mean, that's probably what I'd end up doing. I'd band together with them and try to survive. Here, that's what I would do. I would get together with Christine and Jennifer, who are both from the same area as me, and we would be our group. Like, that's what we do. And as I'm looking at my desk, this would probably be my weapon. It's a letter opener. So as I've mentioned, I like letters. But this is probably the only thing that I could just punch through a zombie's head. Yep. Weapon. Tie it on a stick and I'm good. I've thought about it when I was at home too, like over summer break or winter break and zombies come up for some reason or another. And if I were in my house, I would probably try to find Danielle first. I've definitely thought about it and I always picture just me and her being in the house when for some reason the, the poop hits the fan and zombie apocalypse. I always picture myself going to make sure that she's okay and finding her and sticking together with her and surviving. I guess it's because we live in the house together, so she's the closest one. I mean, if I lived with Brittany, I'd probably think the same thing, or Courtney. I mean, after I'm with her, I would definitely try to find my other family. That would probably be our main objective as well as, as, well as surviving. It's just weird to think how, how one would survive if the world were to end. It's probably not going to happen any time in my lifetime, but... I mean, it's always good to be prepared, maybe not as much as some of the survivalist people that I've heard of, stocking up weapons and bunkers and all that, but, I don't know, just a slight plan of action if what you were to do. Like, you're in a classroom, well, what would you do if all of a sudden a zombie, like, apocalypse started run? <laughs> Barricade the door, maybe? If I was in a classroom with either my smaller classroom of, like, 20 to 50 people or my large lecture classroom of, maybe, like, four or five hundred, I'd probably get out of there because one person gets bit and everybody's done. You know, just get out of there. Smaller groups are better. I don't know, it's my, just my rant on <laughs> zombie survival. I am by no means any expert, but after I've seen Walking Dead or, read, like I said, read a zombie book, I'm always in that mindset of how would I survive a zombie apocalypse. Here's my question to you. Look around where you are now at your computer watching this video. How would you survive if all of a sudden you hear shouts and screams and see on the news that zombies are real and they're taking over the world because that's what they do? How would you survive? Would you stay there, barricade yourself up, try to find people like I would find my family? I mean, what would you do? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you on day 63. So, until then, goodbye! Don't get eaten by a zombie.